Hello YouTube viewers, today we have a date and not. We have the newer version of the 60 inch Dayton. This is actually a Marley relabel versus the older style cast aluminum Dayton 60 inch. Both have huge blades. Uh, seems like these are definitely pitched steeper than those. Um, either way, we're going to go ahead and first we're going to get some measurements on the motors to see if there's a size difference. Once I find my tape measure, where did I put it down at? Uh, red Milwaukee tape measure, there you are. Alright. So, cast aluminum and motor is about 9, 9.5, nine sorry. Yeah, 9.5 across. Just for this. So let's see what the newer one has in comparison. Newer one is only nine. So the motor on this one is smaller than that one. Not sure if that's it. Just that casing was bigger. You know, the casing center. Maybe using that thicker wall. Anna. Um, not sure on the date uh, fan, I know that we have a capacitor dated 1970-something. So it's 1970s, 1980s Dayton versus this one, which is labeled 2013. Go up here real fast and we get some of the labels. Um, interesting to notice, the blue blade, the 60-inch blades have a blue dot. Uh, there's our date sticker. December of 2013. <clears throat> nope, one more turn. <clears throat> there we go. Marley Engineer Products 6000 1. These blades have three creases as compared to the old day and only having that one center crease. Also, the old Dayton, if you can look at from over here, the blades are pitched up just a bit. These are pitched straight. So, either way, without further talking about the fans, let's go ahead and get them on low, starting with the newer Dayton over here. Once I can get to the control. We got a silver line in the way. There we go. Alright. That's on low speed. Let's turn the other Dayton on low speed as well. Should be interesting to see how these fans compare. Go over here. One is on the Dayton variable control. One on this side is on the King of Fans transformer base control. Pretty evenly matched low speeds, actually. It was completely by accident, but well, no, the older Dayton's picking up a little more speed. Low speed. Low speed. Next, we're gonna go to medium low. Go to a medium lowish speed on you. There. Definitely notice this one picks up the speed right away. That one takes a little bit more time to catch up. When I got this fan, I was missing mounting hardware and down rod. That's why I got it for such a good price. Uh, down rods, I had tons of down rods I just cut a chunk off of, and I still will be mounting hardware off of the Litex fan since I don't really care much for it, and I can jerry rig mounting for it, and I don't really think it needs proper mounting. 
Either way, let's go to medium high. Not medium high. I keep trying to say the wrong way, don't I? There we go. That's medium high. I feel a good breeze from this. Let's go ahead and get the older Dayton to a medium high. This is new meat old basically. The speed parameters seem like they're almost spot on for both fans. I will get beginning the RPMs of both of these. I know the Dayton does, I think, 310 right now. Not sure what the new one does. But I believe it's rated for 325, something like that. I don't know, I didn't get the manual either. Either way, it's on medium high, so let's go ahead and just put it in the high. First up, we put this one in the high. Next. Excuse me, Mr. Silverline. <clears throat> I see. It's a good breeze from the fan. <laughs> okay. A world of distance. And this one should have the advantage as a longer down run. They both seem to be going the same speed, but the pitch obviously makes a difference. This fan moves a decent amount of air. It's not bad, but it moves what you expect from a normal industrial. It's good air. We come over to the cast aluminum day and and <laughs> yeah. It's almost like force flare. It kind of pushes you a little bit. Nothing is as insane as these, these cast iron, cast aluminum Daytons are amazing fans. I hope I can find more of these. Um, either way, let's get a shot of both of these over here. Go and do a spin down. And I'll say I don't feel that much air from this. I feel a good amount of air, but nothing from like up close on the floor or anything like that. Compared to when you walk near the date and you feel breathe along the floor. So I would definitely say the older Dayton wins, um, based on its design, cast. Aluminum holds up better than cast steel. Uh, the fans definitely move more air. They're more powerful. Hilero 16 inch Titans, they do move good air as well, but they're not insane air. If you want maximum air coverage, definitely see if you can find a cast aluminum band. They don't pop up too often, but if you can find one. Well, I guess cast aluminum leading edge, any cast aluminum. Thing. I think they're made under several labels smartly being included. Spin down the older date and might still spin down faster because it's still working with bearings and it sat in a box for a long time. I've given it some WD-40 and zoom spout but sure is taking its time to work in there. The older is definitely chugging along on off. This one Come to a stop. And let's go over here. Man, it is hot in this garage. Okay, I need to get a better angle. Let's try that. There we go. Either way, uh, the newer. Stamp still Dayton's I now have one of each model. 
only thing I'm missing now is I think I want to get an harsh environment 60 inch and one of the 36 inch stamped maybe two of the 36 inch stamped I don't know and then I'll have one of each model of the stamped steel bands and once again these are big for me I've seen these almost everywhere in Florida they are very popular they move good air fortunately I don't see any of the cast aluminum bands I think they didn't they weren't popular when they were still cast aluminum I think it was more or less a recent thing that these fans were found in a lot of places Definitely has good bearings. This is a brand new fan. Um, apparently the owner claimed it was a warranty replacement, which is why it didn't include down rubber mounting hardware. Because you've had to take the motor down and blades and the canopies if you need them, apparently. Never knew that the they warranty replacement when it comes to down rod, but apparently that's what the owner said. It was, it was a replacement one in case something happened to one. So... Interesting, but needless to say, it moves great air. Not like amazing air, but good air. I think if it had a better pitch in the blades, it would move more air. But I don't want to pitch them too much and cause too much drag and yada yada. I think I'm just going to leave them as they are because they work. Once again, both of these monsters are 60 inch. That one's always in my garage, it just kind of stays here now because it moves necessary to make this garage cool by itself. And this is my testing area, and this is just where I have this for right now. This might be the thing I keep in here on this side. I don't know. I kind of like the clash of new and old. The old is much better. Definitely much better. So if you can find one. Granted, they might run a little bit higher in price because they tend to be a lot of. seem to be uh, sought after by a lot of collectors. I mean, I don't want to tell you how much I paid for that thing, but. Probably my, probably my most expensive fan I've bought is that thing over there. And they had sang something. Because I usually spend at least 80 bucks on these older Dayton's and. That's probably my second highest highest expense on vans. You know the bearings are very good in the sand, it's still spinning. And freaking heck. There we go. Anyway, thanks for watching.